Here we are guys, meal prep again. We're gonna, we got some chicken breast this time, a little low fat protein, Mexican influenced goods in front of us. Yeah, we got some traditional uh, uh, verde, right? Chicken chili verde, so stick around guys. Heat them up. Heat them up. Heat them up, boys. Up the burners. Burners on both sides. Sam, I want you to season that chicken. Bring the bowl over here so I can see you season yes, it for real. You Not those little them. baby pinches. Salt and pepper. And over here, I'm going tomatillos in a pot. I've got poblano, serrano, and garlic. Some water. A little pinch of salt over here. This is a pinch. This pinch. is a half pinch. Lid on. Okay, let's see, what are you thinking? Good? More pinches. How much salt? Do you need more the pinches? The pepper looks good to me, the pepper looks good. You can't see the salt. salt. Or at least I can't. Go another one, go another one. <laughs> just so you know from Sam pinch. All right, I mean, that's pretty much it. For now, we're just gonna cook up the chicken, called guisado. Guisado? Yeah, kind of like sauteed or fried yeah. in oil. Sam, so if you wanna go ahead and kind of push it to one side of the pan. A little onions, poblanos. You say poblano? Yeah, poblano. Deeper no. color than like a regular green bell pepper. Yeah. They cost less, because usually you buy these by the pound mm -hmm. instead of by the each, so okay. that's a good little hack. That's a nice little tip and trick yeah. for, the, for the folks, huh? Yeah, and then we're coming, we got a little bit of a simmer started here, boil, another couple minutes and we'll blitz that baby. Uh, we brought some butternut squash in. This is just peeled butternut squash, diced up, roasted in the oven, little salt and pepper. We don't even use oil. Just straight up. This is gonna be our base, around six ounces in each little tray. Over here, tomatillos. See how they're changing the color? Mm -hmm. Get that lighter color. Yep. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the heat on that. And then I'm gonna dish these guys into our blender. Whoa. Open the top. And then we'll go here, right there. On. There's plenty of liquid in here. Open the top, what, what's up with that? Let the air out, but the hot, you know, the steam out. Uh -huh. Then I'll also add a little bit of this water because we're gonna add all this cilantro. All right. We want the correct thickness. That's gonna thicken it up. Okay. Follow. Put in with the cilantro. Pinch of salt. There we go. Nice green color. That's beautiful, man. Good consistency. Mm -hmm. All right, then we're gonna go back into our pot with this. Bring it up to a simmer. How you looking over there? You're good, man. Think that chicken's done? I think so. They're firm. Got some liquid. So go ahead and bring it over here and we'll you know, dump that in here. I'll help you. I think that's the right amount of caldo for you. You know caldo, you know all about caldo now. The juice? Yeah. I'd say so, man. It's good. Uh, we're up to the simmer. We're just checking the flavor. Obviously it needs what, another pinch of salt? <laughs> and it's we're good, man. It it's 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 kind of sweet and it's got a, a really fun like initial like hot zing to it, and I've, I've mentioned before, I'm not really good with hot food. Right. It was just enough to like shock me and surprise me, and then it like, it dived down dived real down. quick. So yep. definitely not like a heat to be afraid, afraid of, of or anything. So there you have it, man. It looks great. Proven now uh, once again that meal prep is fun, right? It tastes good, it's simple. We knocked out 10 plates in maybe 30 minutes. And we all say? learned a traditional verde recipe, so appreciate it, man. All right, guys, get in the kitchen, have some fun. Give the chicken chili verde a try, and we'll see you next time.